Hi, my name's Nick Jeffries of New Projects and you're watching New Weekly, episode 17. He's just bought a 2,455 square foot duplex apartment in Vicarage Gate, which is just off the Kensington High Street. I went to see a property in Wandsworth with Virel, one of our trusted subcontractors. Um, this house was a double bay, semi-detached, terrace-ish kind of property. They said we could replace them with timber because the, the, the cost of these extra uh, metals was, was, was not worth it. I looked at the, uh, one of the conveyance plans that makes sense and it had a sub-basement. Yeah. And you tend to find everyone we work with become part of the new family and we can generate so much work for uh, freelancers, whether it could be interior design or architecture. It's Monday morning, the sun's out, and already the phone has been going off the hook. I've just watched that Freddie a deal in South London for an interior design project. She's got that. I said, you go for it, make the phone call and see what you can get on with. Uh, and the one which we had in yesterday, Sunday, has come from a guy based in Hong Kong and Shanghai. He's just bought a 2,455 square foot duplex apartment in Vicarage Gate, which is just off the Kensington High Street. He wants to get a basement under the footprint, which will increase the square footage by minimum of 1,000 square foot easily. He bought this property for four million quid. Four mil for 2,455 square feet. So that's roughly, I think 1,600 a square foot. He wants to refurb it to a very high specification because the property next door, even though it's a house, is on the market for 22 million pounds. So with the basement, with this remodel to a really high specification, there's no reason why he can't be hitting 2,200 to 2,250 a square foot. Um, now, yeah, I'm just looking for the pictures here. The property's nice. If he wasn't going for the basement, you know, and he wasn't really interested in increasing the value pound per square foot through interior design, it's a lovely project, lovely property. But obviously we want to do the basement. We want to do the refurb and fit out for him. You know, at the moment, the joinery is pretty standard. There's no uh, luxury materials, even though the kitchen looks nice. So that was that. And what we have already today, We've got one project in Smith Street in Chelsea. Now, we've already done one in Smith Street in Chelsea five years ago. The client here, he purchased it two months ago. He's just got planning for a kitchen extension loft conversion and he wants new to give him a price to do the fit out. That's a nice one. Uh, and this one here is pretty nice. Again, in Chelsea, Kings Road, it's an apartment above, I think, Fat Face, the clothes shop. They want a full refurb, new bathrooms, new kitchens, new sanitary, new everything. Um, I'm gonna be going over there next week, I think because they're out of the country this week to have a look at it. But watch this space on that. So I've got, I can see Virel outside. So Virel, he has just started. Stafford Mansions today. So they're putting in temporary electrics, they're finishing off the strip out and um, setting the welfare up, the health and safety. I see next door they've got all the boards ready, the signs, the welfare signs, uh, you know, everything you need to make the site safe basically. But I'm going to be going in to see Will in a bit because we've got a, a Zoom call with a client in Dubai. Now they have two properties in Ealing next door to each other. I first knew about this deal a year and a half ago. He's just phoned me up this morning. He said, Nick, 
Can we have a Zoom call with him and the investor? Because the investor wants to put in the money to do the project. So it's two houses next door to each other. They're gonna be demolished, a basement, and to build 14 apartments on top. So Will's quite happy because he's thinking about maybe using the SIPS construction method to build these apartments. So 3 p.m., we've got a conference call in Dubai with the client, my buddy, and Will. So let's see what happens, and we'll catch up later on. Tuesday morning and I'm in Fitzrovia, parked outside a big block of apartments which Will has gone in to take a look at a 1500 square foot apartment which an architect has given us a tender to price up. Now I've just stayed out here because uh, in this part of London there's nowhere to park, there's cameras everywhere, there's traffic warnings everywhere and I'm just going to sit here and uh, be his chauffeur today. So he'll be down in about 15 minutes. This morning I went to see a property in Wandsworth with Virel, one of our trusted subcontractors. Um, this house was a double bay semi-detached terraced ish kind of property and uh, it's been refurbed to a very very high standard but the client wants to open up the kitchen and mess around with the levels a bit so um, we're going to get a, a budget estimate over to the client for probably sometime next week but other news is well I've had some fantastic news which I was told today I can't divulge yet what it is but this has been hanging over my head for many many years and now it has gone away so uh, I'll let you know into this uh, maybe in a, in a few weeks time but um, yeah so what else has been going on hmm Claudia our digital marketing assistant manager whatever you want to call her she has now gone freelance because she wants to take on some more work for other people so um, she'd be no longer in our office uh, full-time and uh, she'd be working from home or wherever she wants to work from delivering our social media content for Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, articles, and so on and so forth. Zoltan's still downstairs in our media suite, creating video, editing videos like this for you guys out there. And um, if you have any ideas for content, which you would like me to produce, let me know. Because um, I think, we need to up our output of our content for Instagram, Facebook, and uh, LinkedIn, definitely. More shorter videos explaining how to do, you know, I don't know, the processes of basements, loft conversions, pod rooms, new builds. Maybe talking about this SIPs, alternative methods of construction. Um, but yeah. So just waiting for Will, then we're heading back to the office.
Two hundred. Two or three by yeah, seven. Yeah, so seven two two, two two or three is here. Yeah, two hundred, two hundred. Right. So because right, we don't want to disturb the corner. So two or three is here, right? So I think what we do is put the steel in at that height. Yeah. Okay. We just slap by a little bit. Here, which yeah. be nice so sort of match our way through. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, so we'll put the steel in under, just under, under, under underneath. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then that will take the weight, and that will look nice actually because we can match it up with this as it comes down. So that's the concrete underneath, okay? Okay. So we've got, we've got joints. Yeah. And, and, and obviously that they're floating across here. Okay. So really, it's a solid concrete. It's not yeah. yeah, it's solid concrete. And that, that's, that's a concrete slab, okay? So we put some in winter with the lights and things like that. Don't we? Yeah, that. Oh yeah, it is actually yeah. just a hole there. Yeah, no, it is a little bit. Yeah, it is. Now I'll put my hand in there. I could do a void bit. So where they push the electric through, yeah. so there's a void about that in there, but it goes through to there to there. But yeah, that, that, that you can see here it comes off that, that concrete slab. Okay. And then it goes all the way. There'll okay. be one, one man all the way down, all the way through. Yeah, all the way through the yeah. yeah. building. Yeah. Yeah. So what this gentleman needs to know is from where yeah. to where is this thing going to go? So we're basically going in so, but, um, into here. The structure engineer has stipulated. He said, I think, five meters. Five meters. So is this the beginning of the apartment that starts here and then goes to the lower ground floor? And yeah. Then, yeah. And then they want a new basement? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Hey. So Spencer, is he in Hong Kong? Yeah, we're still in Hong Kong. Yeah.
floor. I looked at the uh, one of the conveyance plans that Nick sent, and it had a sub basement. Yeah. And if we're putting a pool in, do we need to put down a sub basement of some sort? Yeah. Yeah, we have to put a basement under this basement, won't we? So pick up and have to put a plant room, won't we? Under these three. Um... But the the one been done recently, just along there, I think. Uh, and Spencer sent for Spencer's in Hong Kong. Right. Hi Will, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. And yourself? Good, good. So, how did the viewings go? What, what, what was Vicarage Gate like first? Um, well, it's a lovely home. Um, very vast. Lots of lovely uh, period details and all the kind of new work is period as well. Uh, with some contemporary touches. Um, yeah, I mean it's it's uh, it's going to be a bit tricky to get a machine in there to excavate it because the the front of the property is a different apartment. You'd have to almost go up the stairs to come down the stairs again. Yeah, so but you would have the conveyor going out the front window, the bay front window, wouldn't you, on the ground floor, on the raised ground. On the ground. On the raised ground, not the lower ground. No, not the lower ground, because that's not part of it. So you'd have a conveyor going over the pavement, um, o yeah. into the up, uh, uh, the raised ground floor, taking the bay window out, and then you yeah. would excavate probably uh, in the middle of the property somewhere, going down the staircase. That's right, yeah. So you yeah. start the excavation in the middle of the uh, lower ground floor in his, his apartment. So maybe what I would do, I would just do a, a little concept design layout of what you think it could look like down there. Because he just wants uh, gym, cinema rooms and that kind of thing. Yeah, I think he said he wanted a pool as well, did he? Maybe, maybe. I think let's just, let's just get the square footage down there because I think it, he wants to create at least a thousand square feet of sellable space. Right, okay. Just like the property next door. So the one next door uh, is on the market for 22 million uh, and that resale value pound per square foot is roughly 2,600 pounds a square foot. Okay. He brought his for 1,600 a square foot. Okay, so there's a good bit of room for improvement then in terms of the value of square foot. Exactly. Time. So if, you, if we, we can yeah. generate 1,000 square feet, that makes him nearly 2 million quid. Brilliant. So, so what yeah. What kind of value is the construction cost on this uh, kind of project, Neil? I, I, I've, I've mentioned, I'm guessing, around £550 a square foot to do the basement because yeah. um, it is all the uh, temporary works and the logistics, which is going to bump that one up a bit. Yeah. And also, when you do yeah. a basement under the lower ground floor, it's always more money and it's always tr uh, m more timely. Um, so, yeah, so I said roughly £200 to do the uh, fit out. And, you know, if we, yes, there's gonna, the, the, the apartment is amazing at the moment, isn't it? So it'd be a shame to destroy anything yeah. in there. But if you're going to do a basement, you are going to be taking up most of that ground floor, uh, raised ground floor yeah. to get down there. Yeah, yeah. The 
raised ground floor and the lower ground floor. And the lower ground floor, yeah. So, but it's not impossible. Um, if we can add that square footage, it stacks up. So even if it costs a million quid and he can make uh, 1.5 to 2 million pounds, it, it's, it's a perfect deal for him, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay, good. And uh, what is the timing on this? Has the client got, uh, you know, has he got a, a fire under him? Is he ready to go straight away? He's ready to go. He, he's a fan and new. Yeah. He's been following us for a long time. Um, he owns yeah. the property. Um, if we can get him uh, engaged with a pre-app, ASAP, um, it's, it's quite, yeah. it, you know, it, I think it's quite straightforward to get you, you know, signed up to get the concept drawings um, d d designed. All right, well look, I won't be able to do it today. It'll be early next week. Yeah, early next week, that's fine. I'd, I'll give him an update. Did I, have I copied you into his email? Yes, his original email, yeah. Yeah, so maybe just say, hi, fantastic property. I'm gonna be looking at it over the weekend yeah. and I'm gonna be sending you some concept layouts early part of next week. Okay, awesome, we will do. Um, and what's the other so ones? And, um, the other ones, we've got um, Clon Curry Hill, any news on him? Nothing on Clon Curry yet. Um, I was, maybe you chase him, because I've chased him a few times last yeah. week. Just just upbeat, okay. hi, how are you, and uh, yeah, yeah. just to see. I'll, I'll just check in with him, yeah. And uh, then we had uh, Wal Waldemore, what's it called? Very, very happy. Um, I've sent over a draft contract. Um, her yeah. husband's gonna be looking over it at the weekend, and that one looks promising to be uh, signed up early part of next week. Yeah, I did try and I spoke to her briefly yesterday, but she was busy, so yeah. I was expecting a call back. And yeah, oh, so maybe I'll give him a call today. So you were copied in the email, so she's got the draft draft yeah. contract. She got a draft scope of works. It's all budget estimates. Yeah. Until you've done your scope of works and planning, then we can work out the actual bill cost. You know, before we start works, sometime in June, yes. July. Yeah. And then we have this uh, this site I went to see today. What one was uh, that? Col is it Colwith Road? Is Martina from Colwith Road? Okay, yeah. It's in Fulham near the, near the stadium. Um, she is looking for a you know a provisional quote to yeah. see what the construction would cost to put a roof extension on. Uh, L-shaped box on the roof. Um, construction cost. She's got a budget of seventy-five k. Yeah. And they don't really want to finance it. They've got they've got that kind of cash, and they want to use just that. So they might do phased construction if if it's possible. Yeah. Um, so I've I've advised them to go and do a, get a pre-app booked in because they also want to discuss, you know, how far can they extend out of the rear of the second floor. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and so that's going to end. So I'll give them an architecture fee early next week. I'll send you a scope of the works they want to do. If you could put a fee together for that as well, for construction. Yeah. Uh, well, that's good. It's been a it's been a proactive yeah. week, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I've got a few other little ones to follow up. Mostly planning jobs. Um, Matt uh, Otio or something like that. I think his name was. He was in Parsons Green. Uh, he's clean to get planning in, but he's not been in touch with me for a while. And there's one or two others. Good. I think what I'd like to do, I started doing it at the end of last week, is setting up a channel on uh, Slack. For yeah. Each project. Yeah. Just, I suppose, just so that everyone can see everyone's singing from the same hymn sheet. Yeah, just so and again on Slack as well. Uh, if you If you create a folder in Slack, just invite whoever's relevant to that job so everyone hasn't got eyes on everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. don't, just so it's just really, it's going to be me and Will uh, from New. And if there's going to be any interior design, obviously Freddie can be involved. But unless they are physically going to be involved, leave everyone else out. Yeah. 
Is is Freddie involved on the Clon Curry appointment? No, she's not involved in Clon Curry. Uh, she's involved with obviously we want to that uh, one in uh, Richmond. Q. Q. Yeah. That's a lovely one as well. Yeah. We, we don't want to let that, that that one slip by us. Um, I've got I've got a, a meeting with Jazz on Monday. Good. Uh, on site to say hello and to Perfect. discuss the kind of latest sketches I sent over to him. Perfect. Well, as soon as you get some sketches signed off, yeah. I will then put some budget estimates to the sketches. Yeah, OK. All right. I'll, uh, I'll see what he says and then uh, I'll, I'll forward them on to you. I think I did copy you in anyway. Yeah. Um, I did speak. Well, I haven't spoke to Alistair Downey, but he did call me I today. Spoke to him, I spoke to him two days ago. Yeah, he hasn't been well, has he? Well, he said he was fine. I asked him, "Are you all right, Alistair? How's everything going?" He said, "Yeah, yeah, fine. Just been busy." Yeah. So we... um, hopefully, it's nothing too serious. Yeah. So yeah, he's in London today. So I may give him a call later, and if I can get him in the office, I will do. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, listen. Let's have a catch up later on. And um, yeah. yeah, get work on Vicarage Gate or Vicarage Terrace, whichever one it is. And um, good luck on the viewing yeah. and meeting on uh, uh, Monday. Monday, all right, nice one, Nick. Thanks a lot. All right, and, buddy. Uh, have a good weekend. And you. you See you later. <laughs> See you, mate. Cheers. Bye, 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 bye. So that was positive. So that is Will the architect. Extremely busy. I must have given him 10 projects already this year. So he's flying. So Will is a subcontracting freelance architect, Reba approved. And you tend to find everyone we work with become part of the new family. And we can generate so much work for uh, freelancers, whether it could be interior design or architecture. You know, so we want great people. So if you're out there and you are an architect or an interior designer, get in contact because there's deals coming in left, right and center. So speaking of projects, this is what's coming this week from architects. So these are from uh, architects, which Izzy has been hammering the phones and she's got them on board. So Let's have a look. So we got two from one architect, uh, both in Ealing, Bernard Avenue. So this is, it's just a nice sort of terraced house and um, it's got planning for a kitchen extension, loft conversion, and full refurbishment. If I had to guess, 250, 300K maybe. So look, you can see on that drawing there, you've got, you got, the, you got the mansard, you've got the kitchen extension, uh, got bifolds, all internal remodeling, en suites. So this is gonna be probably back to brick, new electrics, new plumbing, new flooring, new heat, every single thing redone. So that's that one, that's quite a nice one. And then from the same architect, again in Ealing, where's this one? Dorset Road in Ealing. And this is just a kitchen extension, refurb of the ground floor. Small job, but it's another connection with an independent architect who can generate uh, leads for new. And well done Izzy, because she gets rewarded highly should these jobs come off. So everyone, who brings in work, 
gets rewarded. Even you guys out there, if you deliver us an opportunity, maybe you know someone who wants a project done and, uh, and you say, oh, give New a call and you let us know that leads coming from you, we will give you a, a reward. What else was there? Oh, right, okay, here's another one. So this one is Garrett Lane in Fulham. Now, this is a joint venture with the owner who's just, I think he's in the middle of purchasing it. And, it. and this has come from Bradley. So Bradley is our sort of investment specialist in new, and he's packaging up the finance. So this morning we've had a conversation, basically it's a, it's a building, it's commercial on the ground floor, and three apartments with a, so it's got to be have a, have a loft conversion, rear extension, three apartments and one commercial. I'm saying to him, we've got to factor in at least a hundred grand per apartment and maybe 50k for the commercial. So 350 in total and the numbers still work. So for an investment purpose, I think the return on investment is about 25%. So it's still good. I think our JV split would be 70-30 to the investor, but it works. So it's been a good week. Um, what's Will has gone to Cotswolds today to have a, a walk around the site. The weather's shocking out there. And you know, the boys are doing brickwork. So if it rains, no one can bloody work on site. So I think he's gone up there and it's gonna be a little bit of a waste of time. So it takes two hours to get there and two hours to get back. So um, he's gonna be pretty peed off if the boys are on, on, are on site. Um, but apart from that, everything's good. So, we're back on right move and we're going to see what is on the market today which is in super prime areas and they've had all the work done so right i've searched chelsea and one's come up straight away which we're going to look at so tragunta road fantastic location loads of um Celebrities and professional footballers live down here, including Frank Lampard. He's developed many projects in this street. And as you see, they're massive. Look at that, gigantic. And what they tend to do, they go, they do a basement under the whole footprint and the garden, or they may even go two levels down, doubling the square footage. So let's have a little look. Before we get to the floor plans, let's have a look at the interior. Wow, look at that. So that's in the basement, beautiful pool, lovely stone, beautiful lighting, lovely piece of artwork at the end. Uh, and that pool goes underneath that garden and the rest of the house. Uh, here could be a light well, can't really see too much. That could be a light well, and there'd be definitely light wells, you know, at the front here. Uh, no, I don't want a virtual tour. So that's in inside. You know, they haven't cut any corners in this one. Look at that. Wooden panellings on the wall from floor to ceiling. They've kept all the original features uh, in the corner sing and the and the and the and the joinery on the doors. Yeah. Yes, please. What do you think? Would you love to live in a house like this? Look at that little cinema room, nice LED lighting, backlit, these wooden panels. That's weird, is that wood there? I, don't, I wouldn't have thought it'd be wood because the, the sound would echo off the wooden panels. Could be like carpet on the walls or something. So that's that. So let's have a look at the floor plan. So, ground floor here. If we go down, so we go, oh my God, look at this, so right. So we've got ground floor, we've got lower ground floor, which takes it into the garden. Then you've got the basement, 
with a swimming pool, gym, treatment room, cinema, wine cellar, laundry room. And then you got the sub-basement under the basement, which I'm guessing, obviously this is the, this is the bottom of the swimming pool. So this is, this is restricted head height here. And I guess this could be for plant, for the pumps and all that kind of stuff. So this property in total is 8,235 square feet. So let's have do some numbers, shall we? Asking price is 30 million pounds. Divide by 8,235 square feet so they are asking three thousand six hundred and forty three pound a square foot jesus christ unbelievable so i i think with the build cost i reckon i spent 500 pound a square foot doing it up so let's go 500 times eight two three five I reckon I spent at least four million pounds on the refurb and they're after 30. Wow. Okay, all right. That's Tragunta. Let's have a look. I'm gonna widen the search because there's gonna be what there's gonna be properties more than that. Alright. Well there's one in Gloucester Road, South Kensington. 35 mil. No, there's no images because it's top secret. They don't want anyone to look at that one. Um, do, 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 do. Chapel Street, Belgravia. Okay, let's have a look here. Chapel Street in Bel Belgravia. Let's have a look at the images. That looks like it's AstroTurf. So without even me looking, I guarantee there's a basement under the footprint and under that garden. Look at it, looks like just a normal terraced house. If that was in your local uh, area, wherever you are, outside London, what would you say that's gonna cost? So I reckon if that was in where I was born in Portsmouth, I think that house would probably cost 600 grand maximum. Let's have a look. So this is 6,700 square feet. Jump back into images. So lovely tiles in the hallway, uh, paneling going in, beautiful pieces of art everywhere. Lovely flooring. Look at that, look. What do you think? office I can see myself doing some deals there but you know all that money you don't get much space looks like a little pool very narrow pool but it's still a pool so let's have a look what we got so ground floor here as I expected you got the lower ground floor so we've got the vaults at the front and you've got a bedroom with an ensuite. You've got another kitchen downstairs. Um, yeah, I wonder if that goes under the garden this. I think it does. Because that's the garden here. And you've got, I reckon that's a subterranean garden. Cinema room. And then underneath that, you got the basement. So you've got lower ground floor, and then you've got the basement. So this is the new addition. So you have got the, the swimming pool. What's that? Six meters by three meters wide. Gym, sauna, spa. It's got a lift on this house as well. So there you go. So let's have a work this one out then. So we got 28 million pounds divided by 6773 square feet. Bloody hell. They're asking more than the one in Tragunta. 
well, this is Belgravia, so this is a different, this is next level. Um, a very famous person used to live here, um, Margaret Thatcher, used to live in, um, just literally round the corner from here. I've been in the property next door, which had a full refurb. So they're asking £4,134 a square foot for this property. Incredible. Right, let's say again, it's um, £500 a square foot for doing it up. 500 a square foot times 6773 equals 3.5 million to do the build. Well, there you go. So that's two fantastic properties we've seen today. Let me know what you think. Let me know which one you would choose if you were a billionaire or multi-millionaire, because you'd have to be a multi-millionaire to be able to afford this. But that's Friday coming to the close. So don't forget to please tell your friends about our channel and uh, subscribe, like, and share. And we'll see you next week. Thank you.